I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time once again for Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. I trust you're ready for your weekly dose of strange silliness with some computer information thrown in there just to mix it up. <laughs> yes, and you will be mixed up by the time the show is over with, probably, which is not my intent, but it often happens. Anyway, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon. We are also proud members of the International Association of Internet Broadcasters. Yes. <laughs> I'm contractually obligated to say that. No. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I just say that because it's fun, and I like fun. I trust you do too. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this show because this show is fun with a capital F U N. All right, let's look at this week's stuff, which actually is some of last week's stuff because I intended this program to be done last week, but I got busy. Sorry about that. At any rate, Windows users, are you a Windows user? Sadly, so am I. <laughs> as well as a Linux user. And I've used Macs, but I kind of got rid of most of my Macs. I just, I didn't see the advantage to me personally, but that's just a personal thing, okay? So if you use a Mac, good on ya, as they say. Um, but if you are a Windows user, you know, you know the frustration, the the frustration, we'll leave it at that, <laughs> of Windows. And the fact that they always have security issues, which is why they do updates. So at least they update, you know, to fix the problem. But there has been a big problem, a huge problem, involving a security issue with Internet Explorer. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> the worst internet browser on the web, particularly with regard to security, someone's trying to call me. And my computer is letting me know that. And my phone is letting me know that. But I'm not going to answer because I'm doing a show. Why do you call me when I do shows? I've fussed at you about that before. Those of you that are out there going, I don't call you at all. So see, it's beeping and dinging and doing things. Sigh. Anyway. You didn't call me, so what do you care? The person that did call me is going, I don't know why he never answers. <laughs> anyway, Windows, Windows users, you have a problem. Of course you do. You use Windows. What do you expect? Um, Microsoft urges Windows users to install an emergency, emergency update <laughs> because of Internet Explorer's vulnerability. Say that three times fast. Don't. Don't do it. No. Anyway, it exploits a vulnerability that can control, allow the people, the bad guys, to control your system. Take it over across the interwebs. It's bad. So patch your systems. It's like a race. What they say, start your engines. Well, this is patch your systems because you use Windows. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it, Fred. Anyway, YouTube <laughs> is disabling their HTML player. Now, this HTML player allowed people, humans like you and I, to watch YouTube on devices that were basically web browser based. And there was a way using this to, on the Fire TV, to have YouTube, even though there was no official YouTube app on the Fire TV. Well, YouTube, Google, has finally agreed with Amazon to share 
some technologies and so forth. And they now are going to have an official YouTube app on the Fire TV. As a matter of fact, they're now just announced today, I think, as I record this on October 1st, that uh, they are actually also going to have a YouTube TV app on the Fire TV. I believe that was announced very, very recently. At any rate, by the way, today as I record this being October 1st means that yesterday, September 30th, was International Podcast Day. So I'm doing a podcast the day after. Should have done it yesterday, but I didn't. <laughs> it's just the way of things. At any rate, YouTube is disabling their HTML player because they've finally gotten their hat together with, with Amazon. So there you go. IPTV services. If you have used a pirate, pirate, arr, a pirate IPTV service, though you may have paid them real money, they really didn't own those, uh, those channels rights to those channels to show them to you. So, they went black on you. See, it's like the old TVs where they would go down to a little dot and then go and they'd be off the air. Well, these pirate, pirate I like doing that. Um, these pirate systems were shut down by a sting operation in Europe. So, uh, some TV services, uh, IPTV services, are looking for another means to illegally get get signal. We get signal. Some of you, uh, some of you gaming geeks will know that reference. If you don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> we get signal. Um, so these services are looking for for another way to illegally pirate. The uh, TV channels. I don't use these kinds of things. Now, I have, I will admit, I will admit, as a technical guy, I've looked at them in the past, okay, but not to actually use them. I did not become a user of said services. I just checked them out. Uh, but there you go. So if you've been using them, you no longer are because they're gone. All right, Boston Dynamics Robot Got Game. This is a video on the blog. The blog, of course, being drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv, as it says there on the screen. Check out this YouTube video. This robot is cool to be able to do all the tricks and things. He looks like a human a bit. It's a little odd. But at any rate, check it out. Also, last item, Google Chrome update caused data corruption on some Macs. Google said, whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry about that, chief. <laughs> so if you've used a Mac or are using a Mac and you updated your Google Chrome and you got your data corrupted, you know who to thank. Good old Google. Yeah. So anyway, that's bad. And uh, Google's apologizing as much as they ever do. And uh, there are patches that are available to take care of the problem, except if you lost your data, you lost your data. That's just the way it is. Okay. All right. Last thing I want to mention is IP Vanish VPN is they're having a special sale right now where you can get two years cheap, go to my special link, which is drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv, slash VPN. Yes. And if you'll do that, you'll get a special deal. It'll help you. It'll help me. It'll help the show. So take advantage of this great opportunity to get IP Vanish, an awesome VPN, for two years licensing at a very, very cheap rate. Check it out. Some people would say, Dr. Bill, you put an ad at the end of your program? That doesn't make any sense. You're right. <laughs> but it just fit in here. So what you going to do, you know? Anyway, VPN, it's good for you. 
Well, that's about it for this show. Join us again next time. Remember until then that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill, the computer promotion is a production of drbillbailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.